Hey guys, IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe here, and I'm joined today by paramedic Micah Miller and our friend, Dummy Sean. No offense, Sean. And today, we're going to learn how to achieve something called IO drill access. So Micah, take it away. So basically what an IO drill access is, is if you can't get an IV for whatever reason, and there are multiple reasons that could happen, um, you'd have to get an intraosseous drill Which and is... drill into the bone. That's what osseous stands for. <clears throat> stands for. Drill right into the bone. Into the what now? Intraosseous. Into the bone. The bone. Yep. The hard stuff. You drill right into the bone. You're going to drill into that. Drill into the bone. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Um, well, so if someone, if you can't get an IV for whatever reason, be it they're in cardiac arrest, they're very dehydrated, they need, um, a cardi we need cardiovascular access very quickly, drill right into the bone and that'll give us what we need. You get access to the cardiovascular system through your bone? Through the bone. It's really crazy. Yep. I yep. did not know that. The body's amazing. The body so, is an incredible thing. Absolutely. Sean, who knew? Okay, so okay. How, how do you do that? <laughs> All right, so I'll show you kind of some of the equipment we got going on here. So basically what we start out with, start with a normal saline flush. It's basically salt water, right? Okay. So you hook it up to this. It's a lure lock system. So far, so good. I'm not going to squirt myself. I'm going to squirt Sean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to flush that. We okay. got normal saline in that tube, right? So basically we get the, the drill and the needle ready. Okay, so now you open those this are, up. Those are two things that individually people don't necessarily like, and you're putting them together. Yeah, absolutely. Needles and... Yeah. I'm not sure why it scares people. Yeah. Okay, no, so it's... we come over here, and we have an alcohol swab as well, and this would have a cap on it, so just be really careful when you're moving around the needle. You don't want to stab someone. No. Well, no. we, we want to stab him. <laughs> Eventually, but Eventually. You know, in the right, in a so, very specific spot. Exactly. So basically, you just pull this back, and we're okay. going to be um, entering this in the tibia today. Okay. So very, is, is that a normal point of access? Are sure. There others you can yeah, use. Sure. Very common access uh, point, but we also use the humerus humeral head up here. Okay. Okay. So it just depends on the situation, how the patient's laying. If we can't access the legs, or if they have no legs, sometimes that happens. Um, Great point. You, you drill right into the humeral head up here. Okay. So, but basically, you want to hold that for me. I okay. Yeah. Don't stab yourself. They don't trust me with many things. <laughs> this is brave. So basically, what you want to do is you want to clean that side. You don't want to push anything that may be on their legs into their straight into the cardiovascular system. Of course. That could cause obvious problems. Well, of course. <laughs> so basically, you're gonna take this. Oh. Yep. Yep. Sorry, Sean. Oh no. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> take you're gonna, this. So you're gonna feel the side. You're gonna okay. shoot for the tibial tuberosity. So you're going to feel it down and it's going to be, you can feel it, and it's going to be a flat surface. Yep. It's going to be very hard, obviously. Yep. Got it right so, there. So once you find the point that you want to clean, yep. you want to put the alcohol swab down. Okay. And go in circles around, moving outward, kind of clean that surface there. Perfect. Wax on, wax, wax off. off. Now toss the alcohol swab. Absolutely. I always, I always yep. wanted to do that. I do that on scene. That's <laughs> super dramatic. It's yep, like, I hit yeah. firefighters in the face with everything I'm throwing back. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so basically, fun bit. Okay, so what you're gonna do is when you do this, you're gonna go at a 90 degree angle okay. to the surface of that tibia right there. Okay. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push mm -hmm. through the skin till you feel that needle hit that bone. Okay. Okay. You're gonna pull that trigger and it's gonna bore itself into the bone. You really don't even have to push that much. Sorry, dude. Yep. Okay, so I, I push in the skin until I feel bone. Sure. And then when I feel bone. And then you're gonna feel bone and you're gonna stop. You're gonna squeeze that trigger. It's gonna bore itself down. Ah! You're done. Okay. You're done drilling. Anyways. Then so what you're I just do? gonna twist it. Pull that oh. off. Yep. That's actually just a magnetic connection. Copy. So you pull that right off. Perfect. Sit that wherever you need to. You're That's gonna pull just this out. Sitting there. It's just sticking out of his bone. Yep. No big deal. You no. pull this needle out. Yep. There is this red device that you put this needle in to protect it from stabbing other people. Um, but we don't have that in also this good. this set. So you would just put it in that. Make okay. sure your sharps are thrown away. You're gonna attach this lure lock straight to this. Then you're gonna aspirate, you're gonna pull back on that plunger. Okay. Sometimes you'll get bone marrow, sometimes you'll get blood, sometimes you get both, sometimes you'll get none. Fair so enough. the real test to see if you're in that bone is you're gonna flush that, you're gonna push that plunger. You're in that bone. Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna push, push that down. plunger. If that flows easily, you know you're in the bone. Solid flow. You're right in that bone cavity. Uh, I think we're good. All right. So, so now gonna, what are we gonna put in there? All right. So basically, uh, if you need to administer any drugs, if they're in cardiac arrest, um, what have you, um, then you're just gonna. Uh, minister whatever you need to, to give so well it looks yeah. terrifying i imagine yeah. it didn't feel great but <laughs> it's one of those things that can save people's lives and i certainly didn't know that that was a thing so. yeah super cool yeah pretty awesome Michael, yeah. thank you so much hey, not only for nice the demonstration here. for what you do and more importantly to all the paramedics and emts out there this is the kind of stuff that people need to know about you guys save lives and we really appreciate it i appreciate you thank you <laughs>